Hey everybody, got another video here for you. Okay, a couple things need to be checked here before I move on to the electronics, just to make sure that it is ready to go acoustically. Uh, the first thing is the neck is flat as a pancake, so that's good. Um, it's probably going to need a little tension on the ends of the frets. I think it could use a bit of file work on the ends right down here in that area. But I'm going to worry about that in final setup. Um, the other thing that I did want to check was that the string height, I guess you would say, is within adjustable range here. And it is. It actually looks like the action is going to be almost perfect with the saddles all the way down once I string it up. So, next flat, bridge height is looking good, and I think I can proceed with the electronics. First thing I want to do is I want to test the piezo back here and find out whether I damaged it while I was putting the bridge together. Because there's a chance I damaged it and it's no good and this kind of installation is not going to work. In which case I'll just clip off the wires and not put a piezo on this guitar. And figure out something for a piezo on the next build or something like that. So, let me get that hooked up. Well, it seems to be working. You'll have to forgive the hum, that's the power inverter. So, good to go. So, checking out the pickup height situation here. Um, bridge is looking okay. It might be able to use a little bit of shim, maybe a mil's worth, but maybe not. So, I think I'm going to start with this, and if it's quiet, then I can go for a shim. On the next side, it's tight. Real tight. Um, when you fret up here, it could get into magnetic buzz. But once again, I think I'm just going to go for it the way it is, and if it does buzz, I can take it apart and route a channel and drop it down a mill or two. But, um, it might just be straight, just slapping these guys straight on the body. So, um, I'm going to wait and see. I'm going to try that first. Okay, I figured out all the electronics panels and such. Um, the depth pick guard is basically going to be rectangle just between these two guys. The panel for the kill button, which is going to be right about here, because your hand's here, so that looks like a good spot for the kill. Um, I was going to make it kind of diagonal in order to match the shape of the body here. But since this is going to have a rectangular pick guard that matches up with the with the width of the pickups, I'm just going to leave this rectangular as well. Back here, it's getting the EQ, and there'll be a control panel coming out to about here, and it'll be about this wide as well. And I'm going to put a back cover plate on it with uh, that attaches with a couple of um, pick guard screws. Couldn't find them in black, I'm going to have to paint. And then uh, the battery box will attach to the back of the cover plate. And it will attach this way so that the whole box comes off of the cover plate. And you can put the battery on that way and the switch is still accessible. And then if you want, you can actually you know, take the whole cover plate off and access the switches here. It's going to have... Um, three on off switches in a row for the three pickups and then uh, and then two splits for the for the neck and bridge all the switches would be laid out in in corresponding positions to where the pickups are on the guitar so neck 
bridge piece out, neck bridge piece out. And uh, so you have three on offs and then two splits for the humbuckers. And then the third switch down here will be the phase switch and it will actually be wired through the bridge. And that'll allow you to do the phase switch, the phase effect when these two are turned on. And I don't think phase is going to have any effect between a humbucker and a piezo, so. And that's about it. So now I need to paint these guys and cut out some pick guard material and get to drilling and such. And about the only thing I haven't figured out is whether is um as usual pretty much it's going to be a giant everything's wired in in parallel kind of a circuit where you've got the three pickups are in parallel along with the kill switch and the eq output and um and then stuff like the on off switch and stuff those are just like in line with the upstream of where everything comes together and the only thing I haven't figured out is whether I'm going to like bring all the positives together and and hide it all inside one of these little electronics boxes and same thing for the negatives or where they're all just like string them from one switch to the next to the next to the next kind of an idea where you have to splice two wires together and then solder them to a single connector on a switch so I haven't quite made up my mind about which way I want to do that, but everything else is pretty much set, so I think I'll get to painting and cutting and drilling, and maybe by the time I finish that all, I'll figure it out which way I want to do the wires.
So if you look here, the hole for my button is a little off-center in that direction. Since this is a prototype, that's not critical. But if this were a production unit for public sale, then I'd be remaking, I'd be making another one of these with a properly centered hole. Well, I just found another error in the panel drilling. This thing doesn't go on this way. It's supposed to go on this way. And that hole's supposed to be over here. So I guess I'll be drilling another hole, and that's yet another thing that I would have to redo if this were not a prototype. Okay, at this point, the uh, wires coming from the neck pickup and the wires coming from the piezo pickup have been extended uh, using these Tycon butt splice connectors. They worked out pretty good. Just uh, 
careful not to overheat them with a lighter or they will catch on fire. But you can just blow it out right away and you're fine. All the wires were secured using little baby brass nails bent over to form a hook and drill a little hole and uh, put some super glue on the end of it slide it down the hole and hook it over the wire and then tape it down until it dries kind of like you're doing kind of like you're installing binding where you glue it down and then tape it down and wait for it to dry so pretty much all this should be dry by now so all the wires are now all to the point where they're going back here under the control panel and I'm going to dig up a little wrench and finish snugging these guys down and then I just hook up all the wires this extra space in here will provide a good place to bring all the positives and all the negatives together and they'll all be hidden behind the back cover which is in the parts bag at the moment and uh, then I need to slap the back cover on and glue the battery box on and hook up the power cable for that and then I think it's time for some strings so let me get to wiring So I decided to figure out how many voicings this thing is going to have. And between the three pickups and the two coil splits and the one phase, um, it works out to 25 voicings altogether. So that should be interesting. 25 voicings before it goes into the equalizer. Okay, phase switch is hooked up. And I've got all of my positives ready to be joined together. Got the three positives coming off the three pickups here. And the bridge one goes through the phase first. And then I've got, uh, this is the positive for the kill switch. And this is the positive for the EQ. So that's like, goes to the jack, basically. So now I twist all these up, solder them together, and then I got to do the same thing for the negatives. There's even more grounds because you got a ground for each of the coil splits and you have a ground for grounding the bridge itself and stuff like that. So, so I've got a new markup tool here. I needed to, these holes go 10 millimeters in from this edge. So I just took the ruler and measured 10 mil in and made a mark. Then I took my new mark out tool here, which is uh, it's one of these like parallel rulers. And I just set it so that one edge was on the edge of that and the other one was at my mark and struck a line just like that. Nice and parallel to the edge, quick and easy. So I've got this all marked out, and now it's time to drill it. Actually, I suppose I should say re-drill it since I already drilled it the wrong way once.
So testing electronics and I didn't get very far because it looks like I melted down the on off switch for the bridge pickup so I'm going to need to replace that. It's still in the guitar. I really should be using like a 60 watt iron on these things instead of like a 140 watt gun. Well, I replaced the on-off switch for the bridge pickup and I had to rewire the phase switch. Apparently some of the solder connections were not 100%, but it seems to be working now. Um, I can't really tell if the split's working or not. Um, I'm going to have to put strings on in order. Just by tapping I can't tell enough of a tone difference. But um, everything else seems to be working. I can turn the bridge on and off, and the neck on and off, and the piezo on and off, and the kill button's working, and things like that. So um, once again, I'll need strings in order to actually see if the phase effect is has a unique tone the way it should. So, but yeah, all I need to do is put these back on, and then put the back cover back on, and then I can go ahead and hook up the EQ power and strings. strings on but no lock grub screws for uh, number five and number six yet it's still going to be a week to 11 days until the parts come in so i think that's going to do it for this episode so until the next one everybody have a good one <laughs>